Hey everybody, happy Labor Day. My name is RH and this is my journey. So this week, um, I am on a 10 day detox. So I was kind of like up in arms on like how to do my meal prep Monday and like what to prepare. And then I was like, you know what? I really don't want to go into my like my detox like stressed out. So let's just vlog the process. So this week, um, I'm actually doing a 10 day green smoothie detox and I just wanted to share some of the recipes with you I'm not going to actually put the recipes in the link below because um, I don't have uh, JJ's permission to do so and this is kind of like her like recipe type thing and I really don't know how that works so I just kind of don't want to um, kind of open up that Pandora's box but this is the actual smoothie JJ uh, invented this JJ Smith invented this um, system i was introduced to this book by my doctor um during my yearly physical and um it has been revolutionary for me for the simple fact that i have actually it's teaching me more than just like uh detoxing the body it's self-discipline it's um time management i mean there's so much to the process um planning you know being you have to plan you can't just go into something like this without having a plan in mind so when my doctor introduced me to it i did it almost about five months ago with my mom and my sister carla and i said every quarter i want to do a 10-day detox so this quarter um is almost over so i just wanted to make sure that i kind of like took advantage of you know or, or like staying true to my word and being consistent so um that i'm going to show you the 10-day like what my morning looked like getting up uh, what the ingredients it was, what the um, uh, kind of like the process and how, you know, I make my smoothies. Um, I keep in mind that when, if you do get the book, um, I double the recipe because I'm still a bigger girl and I do still need to consume so many calories to keep my body from uh, not going into starvation mode. So I do double the recipe to give me breakfast, lunch and dinner. Then I do snacks in between. Some of my snacks may consist of celery. Um, it may consist of, I do a lot of raw nuts, just completely natural raw nuts, nothing added to it. I do like a raw nut mixture. Um, apples, you can do, uh, so she, in, in the book, JJ kind of like breaks it down. You can do boiled eggs. Um, so there's different things in your snack wise that you can actually do um, in between your breakfast, lunch, and your dinner. And um, definitely drinking a lot of water. That's so very important. Water is important. Um, I am not a water person, but let me tell you, it has become my best friend. So guys, I always appreciate you joining me. Um, definitely don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and definitely share. Enjoy. So hey guys, I am actually getting ready to go into Target. Um, I'm upgrading my blender from my baby blender to a Ninja adult blender so that I can start my 10 day detox off with out a hitch. I put my mask on and I'm like trying to film myself because my wingman didn't want to be my cameraman. So I'm having to be my own cameraman. I know people are looking at me like I'm crazy, but look here, I do what I gotta do. Okay, so this is the blender aisle. And there is a lot of different blenders. Or the different blenders. They have the Nutra Bullet, and then these are the Ninjas, and that's the kitchen. The one I have at home, I believe, is this one here, and it's just—it's a good blender, but it's just not strong enough. Four. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do the professional blender. And I'm going to go ahead and do this blender here. The Ninja. Ninja. 
Fine, got the new one in my house. I'm so excited. Detox, they're not necessarily, they're, they're, they're. I think detox is definitely not for the faint of heart. Like you just don't go on a detox and be like, oh, I'm just gonna go on a detox because it's like, like it's this detox is gonna be easier for me this time because I've look low key like trained myself how to do the, the steps that you're gonna be seeing the next couple of the next five days. So I've been I've trained myself mm. to. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired right now. You ain't done nothing. Why are you tired? tired? I did all the work at church, mom. Renette, I worked yesterday. You ain't. <laughs> and I worked this. Oh my goodness. She's. Um, 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 I am mentally tired. <laughs> like I've had to think and coordinate and, and it's just like, it's, you know how when you, you, um, uh, organizing something and seeing it to the end and it's over and you're like Ugh. I, I, I can breathe now. Wow, that's so intense. <sighs> yeah. So I mean I've pretty much trained myself in the arena of de especially the green detox. So <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the lion on <laughs> <laughs> the wizard of all. Oh, I got courage. Courage. I need some courage to get out of the car. Give me some courage. Check. Day one. We'll be doing um, berry green smoothie. And the sound that you hear in the background is me boiling my eggs. Each smoothie is designed to get three meals out of it. So I've already put in my water and my flaxseed and my Splenda. And with the Splenda, like when you taste the smoothie, if it's not, it's still too bitter for you, you can actually add more Splenda. So this is the Splenda that I use. I use the Sweet Leaf Organic, I'm saying Splenda, Stevia sweetener. Zero calories, carbs, no bitterness, no aftertaste, no artificial ingredients. So that's the one I use when I'm doing my detox smoothies. And you can also do a smooth uh, scoop of protein powder, which I haven't found a protein powder that I like. Um, and if you have any suggestions, hit a sister up. This is the spinach I use. I try to use as much organic type of stuff as I can. Um, so, so just three, that's like a handful, handfuls of spinach. You cannot eat any kind of nuts. You can only eat raw, unsalted nuts. So what I've done here is I've taken walnuts and almonds. 
Now this will last me all day. You don't want to eat this in one setting because you got to figure you're, you're eating three smoothies and this is just your in-between snack. And then I also boiled eggs. You can have boiled eggs. So I'll boil two eggs and then I'll take a bag of these nuts and then I'll take uh, two boiled eggs along with my two lunch and breakfast smoothie. spring mix out of the um mango, mixed berries, but I have a little bit of a surprise. So I actually was supposed to do day four berry peach, but I ended up going to my mom's house as I put the peaches in her deep freezer four times this week and I still did not go in the deep freezer and get the peaches. I'm gonna do day four and then day four, when day seven comes, I'll do day seven. So I'm just gonna flip the days. I mean, cause it's, um, and something else I wanted to make mention, um, 
excuse the messiness of my book because I actually use this on a regular basis. But um, one scoop of protein powder you can use. Still, it's still edible, especially um, these are really good for um, banana bread. Really good for banana. Work at what you have. So, because I do smoothies um, very often, most most mornings I do some type of green smoothie, um, and. Later on, and probably later on this year, as we get close to holidays, I'll share some of those other smoothies that I do. But I always keep stuff pre-packaged and in the freezer. Um,
Welcome back, guys. Um, it, five days. I I can tell you that it is a lot easier than the first time I did my detox. Um, one of the reasons what made it easier is I am completely off coffee. I have I took myself off coffee when I first did the first detox. So I didn't go through withdrawals this time. There wasn't any headaches or I'm feeling all kind of craziness. I didn't feel any of that this time. Um, because I've made smoothies throughout the last few months and I've literally learned the process and the system for myself and what works for me, I know how much, I know how to double my recipe and I know how to feed my body. So I, I'm not hungry, I'm not starving, I'm not like, oh, I need food. Um, I have legit been consistent this last year almost year and three three four months i have been so consistent and um i'm proud of myself um because unfortunately you know you don't see me off of what i show you on this camera so i could turn this camera off and eat whatever i want to eat and nobody sees me but me but I, I i am proud of myself for getting off of the sugar and that's another thing that made this this process this second time so easy because I'm drinking my tea without sugar, a lot of stuff I'm doing without sugar because of the consistency. It just, it just, it's making it so much easier. It's almost so easy. And I'm like, uh, I hope it works because it, it, it's just that easy. Um, my body, I'm still having issues with my health in the in the sense that I have hit a Jedi Knight plateau, and my body's not wanting to necessarily lose the weight. But um, I know that if I keep hitting the rock. It eventually will give me water right so it's it's not about the process it's about the end result it's about knowing your why so um this right now this weight loss journey is not this hoopla yay i'm losing weight type thing this is i am in the desert i am in a dry place right now and i i am keeping myself positive not trying to get down in the mother grub and get discouraged so guys, I hope that you join me on this journey, right? Um, it's so easy to see people when they get to the end and they're skinny and they're in all of the little cute little outfits and poses, but it's very rare that you have the opportunity to really follow somebody's life, really follow somebody's journey, really see like the struggle is real, you know? And I'm, you know, when I eat and when I share my meals with you, I'm sharing my experiences, my my obstacles, my ups, my downs, my victories, and even trying to inspire you and not in just weight loss, but in every area of your life. Because when you start bringing one area into control, it seems like all the other areas kind of like begin to fall into place. So guys, next week will be the last five days of my detox. I hope you guys stay with me as I do this 10 day detox. I hope you enjoy it. Like, comment. A lot of you are my personal friends. Send me texts, emails. Let me know what you think. Um, any suggestions, any ideas. You guys know that I'm an open person and I, and I definitely take criticism as well because that's how we grow, right? So guys, like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Um, my Instagram and my Facebook is in the link below. Check me out on those uh, um, social media sites as well. I really appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. And like always, guys, you know how I am. Blossom in your desert. Be blessed.